it's it, it's born. it's a funny quip, but it's also true. Uh, uh, when we last left off, uh, you guys had just defeated the uh, the hag and had discovered her treasure. Uh, most of you, all, all of you, made it down the mountain, and then a couple of you vanished in a, in a weird mist. And after a, you know, after, after a moment, as far as Arya and uh, and the half work were concerned, uh, basically, you know, they weren't looking at you. Nobody was looking at you guys. And so, pretty much, just a minute passes for everybody else by the time that. Uh, Devlin, Dozel, Satana, and Thunk are all reappear right there. Probably seeing Arya still hugging little one, and um, and so on and so forth. And none of them seem to have realized you were gone. And it's up to you to tell to tell her what may or may may or may not have happened during your little interlude adventure. So, what would you guys like to do? Really... Oh man. I'm so tired. I think it's time to take a nap. None of the stuff that you guys picked up that got at the at the very end of your adventure has vanished. All of that stuff is still on you. Mm. I still think it's time to take a nap. I still wish I had the Book of the Dead. To well, be honest, like... I think I forgot what uh, the Tantra picked up from the hags. Do you ever written down your inventory? Oh shit, that's right. He wasn't. He was on a phone. That's why. Oh my. God. Yeah, I was on the phone with my wife at the time. And also, he um got a new phone too. So that would would hurt. Yeah. Shit. Um. I don't know where he rolled. But the Monsols have a way of the dragon now, too. And a way of mercy. Interesting. Well, while they're all doing that, I get done hugging a little one, and I'm... It's what, about evening now? Yeah, it's getting towards evening. I suppose I, um, I start setting up my tent. Uh, sets up his tent at the edge of. And Arya, please give me a perception check. Okie dokie. Perception. Uh, okay. So, uh, which of you has the staff? Our wonderful and infuriating barbarian. Uh, Arya, you notice that Funk is holding a staff that he didn't have before. Also, your companions seem to have um, some strange vines clinging to their to their boots that are unlike the vines that you went up the steps with. Your keen your keen druid senses seem to to recognize this right away. Hmm. Um. Being shy and completely not really com um, confrontational, I keep to my I kind of file this information away to privately. I do not ask them about it. Was there a quarter staff? Yeah, at the hag. So Dozel and he got a staff. yeah. So various people put the various people put together their their sleeping arrangements. Uh, various NPCs slash uh, PCs that are currently being piloted by me. Uh, they're all putting together their sleeping arrangements. <laughs> and. The uh, the fighter is going to take third watch. Right, so... he, will, he will never be seen from again. 
<laughs> um, Aria, like, t- off it takes first watch. Uh, I'm gonna disappear for a little bit, but I'll re- be right back. I'll okay. be headset. I'm just getting dinner. Dozel will take second watch then. And of course, Kage is always watching, but he's kind of staring off into fi- in- into flames. Oh, hey, did we no, let so... Eko know about that we killed the hag? Iku just claps her hands together. That's that's, that's wonderful. Aria kind of looks like, and kind of nods like, and we burned the body, so hopefully she won't come come back as undead. Uh, she shouldn't, dear. Uh, thing, things like her do not tend to be afflicted by undeath. Or you just kind of gives a kind of a, like a little shrug of understanding, acknowledgement, and sits by the fire. Um, she at least begins to kind of take a, a few strands of her hair and start braiding it while she's keeping watch, just mostly doing something with her hands. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to roll perception for the watch? Yes, please. All right. I get a good one. Natural one. Surprising. I'm just kidding. Very nice. You watch. You, you watch the area, and of course, once again, you'd see Kyle just kind of staring off into the fire, and nothing else seems to be stirring. All right. At the end of my watch, I bid Kyle good night, and I go to my tent to curl up with little one. All right. What other? The, um, let's see. Second watch. Dozel. Uh, make my own rolls here. Who's taking th- uh, taking fourth watch? I can take fourth watch. Okay. So Dozel goes to bed. Gets relieved by uh, the half orc. Uh, so I'd like to give you wonderful perception checks, actually. Uh, disadvantage for third watch. Alright. That's an 18 for me. You just get straight roll at disadvantage? Oh, I see. You, you rolled twice in rapid succession. Okay. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm not home, so I don't have my sheet. Uh, could someone look at my sheet and see? Most likely sure. you're a plus one. Let's see here. Perception. Perception. I'm pulling it up real quick. I know my passive is 13, so... Yeah, you, you ended up rolling a seven because you're asleep. Okay. As I think his is a plus one anyway. It's a plus three according to according to, to this. No, really. Mm-hmm. I rolled from the sheet that he put into uh, oh. into here. I was thinking just base, but he has um, he has proficiency in that. Yeah. So run. I got a sixteen. Run. What about you? Give me just a second here. Okay. That would be a nine. Yeah, it's 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 uh, um at disadvantage, but since that that it's already too lower than the DC, I'm not gonna make you roll again. Uh, so um uh, both Arya and and Devlin uh. 
you are woken by a sudden scream in the middle in the middle of the night, along with several loud thuds, uh, and the whipping of branches. I run out of my tent to see what happened. You see a massive T Rex sporting a feathery crest and feather feathers down its uh, massive shoulder blades, seemingly with feet disappearing <laughs> into its mouth before it begins to stalk off. <laughs> Aria is actually smart this time and does not call out to the T Rex to say hello. <laughs> 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 Gotta go check on that little one. <laughs> I said I I kind of stare off like. Uh... <laughs> Devlin, do you try to do anything? Hey, look out real quick. I'm like, hmm, not my problem. And go back to bed. <laughs> and T-Rex vanishes not... into the forest. <laughs> hey, Devil Spooks is not touching a T-Rex. Sentana, uh, when you get up for your watch, you discover that um, the half-orc has gone missing. And there are some spots of blood on the ground not far from where he was supposed to stand his watch. Satanta uh, is going to examine the area to see what happened. <laughs> Roll an investigation, please. So, you discover a rather large footprint of some kind of, um, well, di dinosaur, most likely. A rather, a, quite large, big enough to uh, have stepped on a person that was lying flat down and pushed them into the ground had they been there. You also find an orange feather lying nearby and a few other little pieces of uh, what looks like uh, feather down as well. And the, the footprints kind okay, of lead out into is... the jungle. Okay, now the half orc would be a Ash's character, right? No, John's. My brother's. Uh... Oh, jeez. Okay. Ash's character um... disappeared almost a while back. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Satant is gonna go rouse the, uh, everyone else and bring them over to the spot. Uh, oh. when you bring Aria over to the spot, like, she's like, she kind of like, it was a... She, she raises her hands up and uh, casts a disguise self to make her look appear ten feet taller, because I can do that. It's like, it was bigger than me. Why are you waking me up for such trivial issues? Hey, uh, before we do this, would I have taken a long rest? Yes. All right. All right. Now I get. Now I gotta. Now I gotta okay. do the the sky self feature. So now I appear ten feet tall. Oh. Okay. So I'm looking at the like it was. There's a t there was a T Rex. I think it ate our half work friend. Aria nods in agreement. She's like, too scary. Not good friend. It's hard to kind of. <laughs> I, I imagine at this point, Dozel is, like, is looking at you guys incredulously going, 
why didn't you wake us then? <laughs> sort of reaction. <laughs> because, you know, he is party dead and he's a paladin. I can picture him this being uh, outraged, astonished, and disappointed all at the same time that you, that you guys did nothing about me. <laughs> The fighter being uh, Ariel, tripped, huh? That's pretty much the thoughts that are running Ariel through would, his mind right now. Ariel would look over to Dozo and, and simply say, Survival of the fittest. <laughs> I cannot fight the T-Rex. He, he, he's doing a, a, a daddy face pump. Okay, if he's a devil and spook, do you think he's going to risk his life and Lamb to go out and get a T-Rex? Roused or try and get our friend roused for a T Rex, they know we're vastly outnumbered for. No, I mean, Probably like, not. if it was if it was little one, Aria would definitely punch sucker punch that T Rex, but it's Alvorn, she has no interaction <laughs> with him. Hey, <laughs> yeah, just tell your, tell, tell your brother that his character is eaten by T Rex. <laughs> hey, one thing now that when uh, Aria gets to the level, she can turn into a T Rex. When I get when I hit the CR, yeah, exactly. When you hit that level, you can turn into a T Rex now because you've seen one. Mm -hmm. And when you go into battle and you turn into T Rex, <laughs> it will ask you, "When did you see a T Rex?" Oh, it's when my brother got eat eaten by one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't Arius' brother; it's just the player's brother. <laughs> Uh huh. Well, it was like it was Smugleaf's brother, not Arya's brother. Well, hey, the player would be would be justifying why she's turning into a T Rex. Not character. Character's already turned. <laughs> but yeah, I. Hold on. I uh, by the time I looked out, all he was was a pair of legs sticking out of the mouth, and I don't think we are strong enough to bring him up at that point. Every kind of shakes just, as a, and one's just uh, like he'd stay dead anyway. Death, the, the curse would see to that. And Satanta just places a hand on his forehead and just kind of shakes it. I think Dozel is doing the same thing. See if there's <laughs> Devil's going back to bed. One last person I have to kill. Since Aria is up anyway, she's decides she's just gonna go ahead, you know, start her mor morning ritual, of get purifying the water, and all that, and taking down her tent. Oh, and I'm still 10 feet I still appear to be 10 feet tall for like an hour. Okay. As morning comes, and anyone that went back to bed is... Getting up. What do you all do? My hour morning routine. Uh, by this point, of course, Arya has been long done with her morning routine. <laughs> and that everyone you wake up and start... it. Oh, you know Devil Did knows get... there. He's like, he will get all the sleep he can get. He doesn't care. Mm -hmm. um, and I've already cast Goodberry and I shared it with everyone. And actually, um, during his morning, his hour log um, sleeping, I'm going to actually spend an hour to re to re prepare some new spells, like change the. Excellent. Since I can do that. Do Dozel is standing very close to Iku, and has basically said he is going to be her personal protection since he's not trusting you guys to protect her <laughs> at the moment. Well, technically, if you think about it, our mission with her is done.
Because only we agreed to only kill the uh, hag, and she would take us to at a certain point. Mm -hmm. But anyway, shit, we were going to the city next, wasn't it? You guys hadn't decided uh, whether I wasn't sure if you guys had decided yet if you were going directly to the city or if you wanted to get get take to the air first. Uh, Iku can take you to the city. It's up to you how you should proceed. Okay, All right, Ma Meta Me says we should uh, take the long way so we can level up more. But get, but Aria would probably say let's go straight to the city because she's very eager to see this uh, thing destroyed. There was also some discussion of whether or not you wanted to get to the get to this area over here. Mm -hmm. Possibly, if we go to the air, we could possibly get to that area right there. Right? Can I get can I get a ping or a dot where we are at at the moment? Uh, yeah, you guys are, are this little star over here. Okay. I just wanted a reference where we're at. That's all. So that... and if we go to the air, we could possibly ask them to go and check out that X. And I'll... Someone's Poos heads over to the three NPCs who have the most information. Uh, from our location at the moment, which would be faster? Take to the air or going toward the city right now? Looking at Iku and Kyle and I think Kyle's dad or something like that. No, no, it was... I can't remember all our NPCs. What kind of have it? There's a uh, Kyle and his daughter Ty. Yeah, so asking Kyle and Iku, which would be faster, going to the air or going straight to the city? Kyle just kind of looks at you. I'm not actually sure how to get to the city, so I can't say. And Iku, Iku seems to be thinking. Well, they're both potentially difficult options. There are a lot of things between here and Umu along the ground uh, but to get to the air assuming that we can convince the the people of uh, I want to say Kirsabal let me double check that uh, assuming that we can convince the people of Kirsabal uh, to lend us such aid um, we will it's almost a straight shot she kind of like gestures just head east only a little bit south or we can go almost directly south towards Omu from here. Um, it'll probably take us, she thinks. Uh, how many hexes is that? Uh, hold on. It'll probably take us uh, about 17 days to get to Kirsabal. I don't know how long it will take us flying to, for, from then to get to Omu. And it'll take us about 20 days to get to Omu. But that's all, of course, depending on whether or not we get impeded by anything. Um, can I roll perception to see if I overhear this? Uh, you should be close by. You should be able to hear it. So all right. Um, is that Kirstable is kind of on the way to Omu. No, no, Keeps Kirsabal is all the way to the east. Umu, Omu is all the way to the south. Um, Aria pops in. It's like, I I'd like just to head to Omu. We came to destroy this. We need to destroy this. She seems kind of very insistent about that. Uh, Nick, do you have any suggestions? None? Okay. Satana, so, what do you think? Go straight to Emu or see Kirstable? I think wherever the most blood is spilled. 
Oh, I moved right away from you. I was just like, oh, nothing from you? Okay. Go straight to, go straight to Santana. <laughs> I, I had to think my answer. <laughs> Satanta just kind of shrugs. Okay, let's think of a let's let's think of Daddy. What would Daddy do? Would Daddy want to go straight there? Uh, my uh, Daddy. I don't know. Are you kind of like at the word "daddy"? Are you kind of almost perks of like, my daddy would pray. He always prays. Our paladin's always praying. So, well, our paladin's always praying. So they might be the same. Uh, are you kind of like looks to the paladin like he's not daddy? She shakes her head. <laughs> So, where are we going? I think, yeah, we'll go straight to Emu. Because... Well, each has their perils. We'll probably have more... I don't know. If we go straight to Emu, we have whatever on the ground blocking us. We don't know anything on the ground that's blocking us from that. And if we go to Kirstable... That one is kind of a little bit more we can pick and step our way, and most likely nothing blocking our way there. And all we have to do is talk about talking and them into flying us to Crystable. But then looking at our wonderful uh, Goliath and our Furbolg, they might be a little hesitant, dissuaded. Yeah. Or the best thing that we could do is, you know, get an air guide who, you know, would scout ahead over the air and then come back and let us know. And we'd basically have to walk all our way there from Curse of Ball to Omu. Anyway, and that would probably, from 17, go that way. And then now we're going from east. That'd probably take us probably about 22 to 23 days, maybe. Whichever way takes so many days. That's that's what matters. <laughs> well, every day, every way is gonna take a lot, a lot of fucking days. Doesn't matter which way we go. I like the long path, but that's just because I like making games take forever. <laughs> I said, I always said, I, um, me as the player, I'd rather, I, going to Curse of All could be really fun because I've never been there, but the, my character would really want to go straight to Omu. I'm still thinking Curse of All anyway. Well, we could all flip. We could well, we could flip a dice, like roll a d four and see if it's e odd. We go straight to Omu. If it's even, we go to Curse of All. That might be the fastest way. I roll a two. So we're going to Curse of All. All right. Essentially, I flipped a coin. Mhm. Mm I rolled a d two. Yeah. She nods. I can, I can lead us. Iku nods. I can lead us there. Uh, do you, do we wish to go back down the river route, or do we wish to just walk from here? Uh, which, which, would which will be easier? faster? I'm gonna say which would be safer. Which would be safer? Uh, yeah, probably, probably backtracking to the canoes. Honestly, there is a, a bit of a, a river route that we can take across the the basin um but then we'd have to to walk 
through some dense jungle unless you wish to go all the way back up the river and down the uh, and down some other rivers. She also th she thinks she's I think I might be able to get us actually if you're willing to carry canoes through the through the jungle. I do remember remember a path down the river. Uh, it's it's into the heart of the jungle, but we should be able to cut over towards uh, the um, towards another towards the river Olong, and be able to take that north a bit towards Kirsabal. What do you think? Mm. It it might take us through some dangerous paths, but we would also potentially arrive there faster by water. It, but again, you would have to carry the canoes overland. Aria kind of like, I can carry a canoe, she says. So then if I... we go over the river basin, there's no canoe carrying? Most of the paths that you wish to take, there's no way if that the, there's no way to even take the canoes. If you just wants to walk to Cursabal, there's no point in going back for the canoes. But we can take the river down the basin, and then it cut through the forest towards the river o Oolong. Go north from there, and Cursabal is about a day to the east of that river. Well. I will take myself out of this equation because I did not pay for the canoes. That's more toward the ones who did spend money on canoes. But I think that was the uh, thick Aria and Dozel, maybe. I think it was. No, no. Thick and Dozel. I think paid for the canoes. Yeah, I bought one and Dozel bought the other. So Dozel and I think, what do you think? Do you want to keep the canoes or? You never know when they could come in handy. We could use them for firewood. I mean, well, I don't know when, when a portable <laughs> ram is going to be uh, available either. Exactly. Affordable. Uh, if we do convince the orcas or whatever they are to. Uh, Aracocra. Yeah, whatever. Uh, if we could convince them if we could just sit in the uh, in the canoes and be transported that way, like a blimp. You mean like an airship? Same difference. <laughs> My nephew captain's one of those. I don't have any life. siblings in real life. <laughs> uh, there, there are airships uh, on this world. They're not particularly common, but uh, so most people ha haven't necessarily seen one, but they may have potentially heard about one. Uh, but they do exist. Aria looks incredibly fascinated. Like an airship? Does it feel like flying? Then she's like, I've never flown before. Daddy, Papa always said it was fun, but he preferred bearing a bear. <laughs> I've flown before. I'm pretty sure oh, my God, nephew is I... nowhere near on this continent area. He's probably he's probably somewhere very far away. I don't know how many airships are in this area. There might be one in Port Nazo. That port, ugh. Port Missouri. I've heard that there are a lot of people from Imru coming in. One of them might have brought an airship. Airships are far more common da down in Eberus than they are up here in Meeg. He kind of looks around at, at everyone with a single eye. 
Aria is still looking very excited by the prospect of flying. So I say we're carrying the canoes and then we'll uh, abandon whoever's carrying the canoes in <laughs> time necessary. So you plan on uh, walking back da down the way you came? So we walk back the way we came, get the canoes, and then what, travel the basin? Yep, up it's, to it's, it's into two days walk back down to where you left the canoes. Mm -hmm. So, who's going to be keeping keep an eye out as you guys walk? I can see how well uh, Satanta does. Alright. Arya should be a guarantee uh, to keep an eye out. Because she has the best uh, perception. Alright. I guess I'll, I, I, I'll help keep an eye out. Make your perception rolls then. Arya's a little distracted by the prospect of flying still. Oh, by the way, Arya, an actual portable ram. I'm not talking about a thick head. An, we have an actual portable ram. So, no, so are you saying we got two of them now? We have, you guys have three all together, if that's the case. So, uh, it's just you two keeping, keeping an eye up? Uh, Santana, are you Excuse keeping me? an eye out? I don't know what would. I hope you keep Rolla above a 10. Yeah, I got a... Oh, there we go. 13. There we go. Uh, so, while the other two keeping an eye out don't see or hear anything out of the ordinary, uh, you start hearing a... Very that that seems loud to you, but apparently is drowned out by other background noises to the other party members, and it appears to be coming this way. What do you do? Satanta gets their attention and tells them or motions for them to get down low and. Just as you are uh, dropping down to the ground, uh, mm -hmm. four giant wasps come zooming into the air area. They, they seem to be hovering for a moment around close by to where you guys were, were, but don't seem to notice you flat to the ground as they continue on their, their, their path. Aria kind of, uh, when they're out of earshot, Aria mutters like, I like wasps better when they're smaller than my fist. Now you can turn into one. She looks through like, I don't want to be a wasp. But now you might have trouble. So Tonto will go to Aria and What do you do, Ren? Eat spaghetti. Satanta? Can you hear me? No, I didn't. I, I heard you to... say something and then you got cut off. It was Satanta, Will, and then nothing. Well, that sucks. Anyways, I'm going to use... I'm going to use Minor Illusion... To talk to Aria. Okay. Okay. And say, we could probably use him as transport. Or Aria like, shakes her head like, wasp are mean. <laughs> and they cuss a lot. Papa says, I can't repeat any of those words. <laughs> 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 he 
just face palms himself. So that is that, that is it for for that day. Uh, who, who's uh, who's going to be keeping watch for the night other than Kyle? I'll take the first one. Just make your perception um, I'll rolls, take guys. Second. All right. What's up? Just uh, make your perception rolls, guys. I see nothing. That night goes goes off without a hitch. Everything's good. All right, next day, daytime perception roll. Yay! I am keep uh, with the wasps in strong remembrance. I have an ego eye out. Like I'm not being surprised by any of those wasps again. <laughs> My nails. I'm like I'm. I'm like. So does Santa. <laughs> what did you roll, run? Where? What did you? What did you roll, run? Wow, between Satanta oh, and huh. and um, Arya, you were able to easily notice the 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 tail the, the tail the upraised tails of several giant scorpions partially embedded in the ground, um, in order to maneuver away from them, unless of course you wish to attack them, uh, without being attacked. Mm -hmm. Nope, Aria's just like, nope, 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 nope. She's noping out of there. <laughs> How many tails? Actually, she lifts up little one and, and carries little one, so he, little one cannot definitely be attacked. Like, nope, 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 so nope, nope. How many tails nope. is it? Uh, they see three tails sticking, it, sticking up out of the ground. Just kind of wavering a little bit, like they're very much ready to attack. You come near. But then I was gonna. No, sorry. Devlin Spooks is gonna put a hand on the back of the if they can go. We're going this way, big boy. We're not gonna touch those tails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nighttime. He's watching. Hang on, let me Devil roll. Spooks will do again. There we go. Got a 15 for Devil's Spooks. All right. I got 12. <laughs> okay. Another night goes off without a hitch. Yay. Who's on for today? I'll do it again. Since I've missed plus five. Nice. Natural 20, and I got mine for. Oh, nice. This I'm going. It's a beautiful it's a beautiful day out. The sun is shining up in the sky. The insects are droning but they're nice and small. Nothing threatens you. And finally by the evening you reach your canoes. Yay. So who's on night watch? Going to bed. I want to check over the canoes, make sure they're still okay and still watch her safe. Roll a um, investigation check. Yeah, um, they look fine. You know, yes. nothing happened to them. I rolled a five. Look straight up fine to me. Yeah, that all looks fine. Uh, except that when you uh, turn over the one canoe, you discover a large crane-like creature uh, that it, it's curled up inside that kind of pushes itself upwards as it seems to be disturbed by your mo sudden movement of the uh, canoe. A crane? Like a bird? It, it's a big bird, yes. A real! A, sees, do I see the bird? Do I, can I roll perception to see the bird? Uh, it, it's... Hold on, I'm f getting a picture for you guys. I rolled to hide. You got a 20. That's what you see. <gasps> We're gonna pretend the bird. Can I do, I... do you want me to roll perception to see if I see the bird? Yeah. It kind of stares I, uh, at, uh... No. At Devlin after he, after he flipped open the, uh... The, the canoe and is... 
I ducked back down I... behind the canoe, hiding. Like, I, in fact, do not see the bird. <laughs> I'll yell out. And, like, and, and oh. it says, in common, why are you disturbing my sleep? <gasps> it speaks. Um, Demo Spook stands back up. Well, excuse me, uh, my wonderfully feathered friend. Uh, these are, these canoes we brought here, we just came back from a rather tough tussle with a green hag on top of the mountain. And we're coming back down here to go and see this town of... Shit. What's the name of the town again? We're not going... curse bob To a curse bob We the I do not mean... The creature to... seems to spit on the ground as you, as you say the name of that place. What a wretched place you were headed for. Um, and do this I, canoe do I was abandoned here. It, is, it has been here for days. It is mine now. My new hut. Uh, well, we were only left we were only left them here temporarily as we went not that we were battling a hag. And why do you call why did you say Cursible was a cursed city or just detestable? It is detestable. The people, the, the people there are wretched. Well, maybe if you don't want them to help us, maybe you could help us. We're going to the town of Omu to possibly stop the curse of the dead. It just tilts its head a bit. It, it seems to be waiting for you to continue. There is a... There's the dead that have come alive here and become zombies and overrun us. And overrun people. And people have stopped dying the way they normally would die. And it's just... Is there some way for us to possibly work out our differences and work together? We could potentially... Use the canoes more. Seems to be pondering this. Roll a persuasion check. Six. I'm pulling all this out of my ass. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could see the bird, but I can. But the dice say I cannot. Oh, At that no. point, uh, Iku uh, finally moves into into being and just kind of. Seems to stiffen up at the sight of the creature that you're talking to, uh, Devlin, and she points her hand, her, her, her hand out, and yells, "Be gone, f foul tempter!" And the bir the bird person screeches at her. Do I hear this? Yes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what? what? What's going on? I I look between the bird, Devlin, and Iku. I'm still holding a canoe. I I Iku is, is looking very... Um, you you've never really seen her this animated before. Usually she is, like, you know, meek and, you know, kind and, you know, th this and that with your party. Uh, right now, she looks as almost as if she's ready to rumble with this creature. She's going to throw hands down with the bird. <laughs> Uh, like, what is going on here? Devlin Waverly says as he's in between these two. This is a foul monstrosity. She, she, she hisses. Do not trust a word it says. Or he kind of looks at, at Iku and is like, uh, Miss Iku, it, it's a bird. <laughs> Actually, do you want me to roll? It for is a monster, EQ says. Uh, okay. Uh, everybody, at this point, I need you to roll uh, a wisdom saving throw as very pretty colors start patterning in the air around you.
I'm going nine. Wait, is this a charming effect? Well, this is a hypnotic pattern. Uh, hold on, let me double check the DC on this one. This particular one has a DC of 11, so a 12 beats it. Where's my D&D &D tab? <laughs> and what's casting the... What's casting the hypnotic pattern? The bird, the, the bird creature. So it starts whispering to Devlin and, and to Thick saying, Oh, this 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 woman is horrible. She doesn't Thick like me. Oh, Thick, Thick rolled, rolled a 15. Then why did Thick roll he twice? I thought that was... Oh. He actually double rolled. Okay. That makes sense then. Uh, she, so she, she basically just looks at you, De it, it, the, the creature just looks at you, at Devlin, and says, this, this woman is uh, being horrible to me. You should do something about Arya that. To roll? Arya rolled a 26. Oh, yep. I missed that. I'm sorry, I missed that. I'm That's sorry. because of, first. that was... <laughs> okay, um... With my plus seven to wisdom. <laughs> it says, I am charmed by this, and I have to do this. I'll turn around and throw a psychic dagger at nobody. I rolled a nine. I don't think that hits Iku. No, so you send the psychic dagger out at Iku. Uh, what do the rest of you guys do in reaction to this? Um, I say, I, I actually uh, say something more than was like, Devlin, how dare you? And I turn into a bear. And I step in front of Iku, and I'm glaring, and I'm and I'm snarling at the Devlin, because how dare them? Well, intimidation. As a bear. Yes, as a bear, and you can use strength for this as a bear. Use strength. Ooh, nice. Oh uh, shit! What am I, what do you roll against intimidation? <laughs> the bear looks more cuddly than intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Because even though it's a fierce bear, it's still Arya, and she looks cuddly. I am very cuddly, though I have not had any NPCs cuddle me yet. Little ones cuddled against you. Wait, wait. so cuddly. How close is everyone in that group? I tried to, I tried to snap at Devil's hand, within 30 feet. he tries to come at me. About a 30-foot cube. Yeah, so it's like you know, people are gathered up n nearby at the at, at the canoe. I have been taken by the spell, and then if I take damage or if someone uh, shakes me out of my stupor, I'll ret return to normal. But right now, I am bent on attacking Iku because I need to do something to protect my mistress, the bird. And I'm bent. And I'm bent on protecting Iku because, you know, I am. Yeah, all right. Well, is someone else going to do something? Thick? Or at least. So, Run has this cast Thunderclap. Uh, who are you casting this at? <laughs> right in the middle of where everyone's concentrated the most at. Especially if the bird and. Uh, Num nuts is right there together. All right, roll damage for that, please. Wait, so the, oh. the bird and whatever creature is also talking are yelling at each other. Sorry, my head. So the died. bird. Okay, so the bird is a creature talking. It casts a hypnotic pattern, and, and I'm I... charmed by its effect to attack Iku to uh, get rid of the creature that's bothering my mistress. Um, so. Santana, how does the 13 sound? DC is 12. There's a lot of thunderclapping noise. And so the... I'm still charmed. <laughs> yeah. So if someone hurts me or I get You're shaken right. out of my or it gets shaken out of my stupor, then Actually, I will... you're you're not still charmed. Uh, the uh, the bird creature just failed its concentration saving th its con its its uh, con save against uh, for taking damage. It lost concentration on the hypnotic pattern. You're 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 sh you're shaking loose from it, Devlin. 
that was my whole intent is to either hit him or hit the bird. <laughs> so cantrips. <laughs> It looks like you saved against it. Uh, the first thirteen. Oh, you're you're right. Wait, is that half damage or full damage? It's no damage because it's. A oh cancer. no! Da oh, if that's the case. Then it didn't. It didn't take any damage, and darn it, because it rolled a thirteen. You're so charmed. Yeah. Sorry. So, like I was saying, if I take damage or someone shakes me out of my stupor. Um, then I return to normal. So, Thick, it is your turn to do something. Let's see. I'm not turned, right? Because I got the 15. Correct. Okay. So, do I understand that he's charmed? Uh, uh you see, you see him st staring at, 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 at a, a pattern of lights and was just told by this creature to attack EQ, your guide. And he threw a knife in her direction. And Iko's not the bird, right? Iku is no, your Iku is, is your guide. It's the it, it's the woman okay. you've you've been running around, and she just told everybody that the, the bird is evil, basically. And the bird reacted by throwing out a hypnotic pattern and telling it, it the person it ensnared in its hypnotic pattern to attack her. Okay, so but I do know that Devlin does not look right. Correct. Okay. So I'm going to pick Devlin up and throw him at the bird. <laughs> uh, since, he, since the bird is standing right next to him and you're standing right next to them and by default, uh, this would be a disadvantage because you're trying to throw to, 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 to okay, throw something in, in melee. I'm not going to throw him. I'm going to take Devlin and slam him against the bird. <laughs> All right. That's a strength check. Improvised weapon. Do <laughs> I rolled a 11 to miss to be to dodge that, but does roll. he first need to roll to attack? Yes, he does. You need to roll an, an athletics to, to grab him in the first place. But don't worry, it's not that hard. And then you, you roll uh, a strength check uh, to swing him, and it's an improvised weapon. So you don't have professionality, I believe. Or do you? You're, 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 you're a level... Yeah. Improvised weapons is a feat to get that. Okay. So yeah, you, it, this is an improvised weapon, so you don't have proficiency. So just roll a strength check for me, please. 20 plus your strength. <laughs> oh, hold on. It didn't roll. The barbarian actually... picks up the rogue and uses him as a weapon. <laughs> How long were we waiting to say that, uh, Grizz? Well, I'm still waiting to see the. Act I'm still still waiting to see what the what the the roll to hit is. I just see a damage marker there. Uh, oh, thick. hold on, I, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, just do, just do your strength button. Plus. Not on arm strength. This the the, the the this is your strength button. Yeah, you have a plus five plus bonus to your strength. That's it. Let's see. Uh, he has a plus three. Yeah, that's that, that's what I figured. That's because the, the plus two is proficiency, and I said this you don't get proficiency on this. Uh, so yeah, he takes that. Yeah, even if I used to take that that original roll there, the nine, it's still not enough to hit the bird. As the, as the large bird t uh, tower, towering so over uh, over you dodges back. A strength check to see if I can actually pick him up because I'm not no, 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 no. Your athletics was to pick him up because he's improvised weapon. You in its melee. You just roll a straight a straight strength check to see if you can hit your your target because you don't have proficiency. Your unarmed strength includes a proficiency uh... bonus. The improvised weapon, no proficiency bonus, which means it's just strength. Gotcha. So then at this point, it would be the NPCs, if they're going to do anything. Well, you're awake now, Devlin. No, I'm not. I just shook you. <laughs> you did not spend your action to shake me awake. It, spe it specifies well, that in the spell. Let me l l let me look at. Let me look at the. Re I'm going to read this no, again. I Hold on one second. To wake you up, but I did pick you up and throw you at something. So technically, you would have been shaken. Well, yeah, tech I am going to agree with that. Technically, you have been shaken. You're still being clutched in, in thick grip, but you were shaken. 
Uh, but still, at this point, it would be the NPC's turn. Anyway. Yes. So the uh, the bird suddenly creature suddenly um, seems to blur out of it, you know, partly out of existence. You can see see it in waves, and it turns and starts to try to run away, like you know, trying to pick up speed so it can fly. What would you guys like to do? Even though I'm being held by our wonderful, please strong, <laughs> and dumb barbarian, would I get an opportunity to do an attack? Hmm. I I am thinking no, simply because you're still waking up. You're you're just disoriented, okay. and it's hard to tell where exactly you are. Uh, if Thuk was to use an opportunity to attack, uh, you are the weapon of choice still. <laughs> Okay, um, would this be at disadvantage for the attack? Yes, it would, because the, the, the bird thing cast blur. So yeah, Thick, if you want to attack, now is the time to attack. <laughs> Again. <laughs> also, if you rage, you have advantage on strength. It's, it's, so it's, it's just a regular roll instead of this event. Yep. If, if we're all standing right next to each other, my rage is a bad thing. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a... Does. Never mind. Uh, Santana does actually manage to connect connect with it. And the, the, the bird thing, oof, as it's struck in the back with the quarter stuff. Arya and Suk. Um, Arya, uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and drop my wild shape, and... Uh, you don't have a um, bonus action. You're, you don't have a bonus action. This is all reaction. Oh, this is reaction? Yep. Um, well, then I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to kind of still, you know, be, uh, can I ready an action as a reaction or no? No, this is a reaction, not an action. All right, sorry. Um, well, I'm going to say in my bear form. I don't think I can run fast enough to go up to the bear to the. No, it's, so it, it's in front. Of... It's in front of you. That's uh, Satana because you're next to Satana. Uh, uh, no, sorry, you're oh. in front of Iku, which means that you're directly in front of the bird. Uh, so which means you get okay. into opportunity. I thought you could cast blur. Yeah. Okay, so attack and opportunity. Blur, not, oh, okay, not missy step. I thought, was, I thought it was further. I thought it was away from me. Oh, in no. that case, we are definitely going to rain down some hell yeah, on that bird. Bl blur means you have disadvantage, uh, so... But, um, you still have the, the chance to attack. Well, then I can make two. One with my bites, one with my claws. Um... Natural one. Do twice. A 17. A so, that's... Uh, 18... Uh, I oh, believe... Oh, it gives me a... I, I believe when it's reaction, so. you only get one of your attacks. I I, I hit twice thinking I forgetting that it does uh, disadvantage automatically. Yeah. I'm also trying to remember uh, when it comes to reaction, I think you can only do one attack, even if you have like you know instead of multi attacks. I think it's just like one attack. All right. Well, I miss. Yeah. I hit the dirt. And Thunk, do you wish to attempt to attempt to attack? Uh, what's up? Are you? Using your attack of opportunity and swinging, uh, and swinging your rogue friend in, in, into the bird as it attempts to fly away. No, no I'll just uh, I'll use my axe hand and uh, swing at it. Uh, you? I thought you picked him up two-handed. No, <laughs> I can carry four hundred pounds. I don't need two hands to pick. Okay, him I guess up. that's true. Devlin isn't that isn't that heavy. He's a sneaky. He's a sneaky boy. Well, it's still a disadvantage. If you were picking it, up Dozel, on the other hand. Yeah. Uh, it's still a oh, disadvantage, by the way. Oh, yeah, because I'm swinging one-handed. Oh, also, cast because blur. it cast blur. Oh, gee. Okay. And that's a miss as it flies away at this point. You see the bird just All kind right. of... The bird creature, the large bird creature, flying away into the distance. Well, um... As still in bear form, I kind of turn to Iku and I kind of uh, press my nose up against her, making sure she's all right. 
She reaches down and kind pets you. Kind of giving a gruff. <sighs> they are a scourge in this region. They would drag you off without a thought and drown you. Or do something, uh, uh, do something else equally despicable. At this point, uh, while well, he's still being held by a thick, Devlin <laughs> goes shakes his head like, Thick? How did it end up in your hands? I mean, not that I'm complaining. <laughs> thick will just kind of look at him and drop him. Ooh. Oh, that was interesting. Um, Aria remains in her bear form for the next two hours. She kind of licks. She kind of, you know, gives little one a bit of a lick, and then goes sits over the, by the fire near Kyle and Ty. Uh, Ty Kyle and Ty, you know, in bear form. So, Iku, why was it saying that? Did you refer why I was saying that the bird place the, where the Ericocra is at is evil? Eblis's and Ericocra do not get along. Okay. Ericocra, um, as, as I said, an Eblis enjoys tormenting and killing people. If they had caught you, if that one had caught you alone, it would have dra dragged you off to an unspeakable fate. Oh. Let me go set up my tent now. It's not a bed. <laughs> Devil goes and sets up his tent to go to sleep. All right. Who is on first watch? I'll take first watch, and I'll since I'm still in bear. I imagine I'm doing it as a bear. I'll go ahead and roll yes. perception as a bear. That's wisdom. And who's on third watch? Satanta will take third watch, I guess. I got 16. Oh, that, that was the second watch. I, I saw your perception check, and I oh, figured okay. that, was, uh, that was for second watch. That's why I was asking who's in third. He's rattled and doesn't, does not want to be on watch tonight. He's just rattled. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do watch. <clears throat> yeah, you also got picked up and shaken to, to, tonight, uh, Tevlin. Yeah. You stare into the darkness like, and see nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Staring into the darkness, daring it. <laughs> <laughs> when you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back. And occasionally it I blinks. Was not ready to see the the red lights. <laughs> I was not ready to see the red lights. <laughs> that was an eight reference. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Alrighty. So let me take, go ahead and take that long rest so I can restart everything. Yep. And minus out that spell slot that I use for a uh, good berry. And the next day finds you on the river. So. Let's discuss where we're going to sit because I would like to move Devlin uh, up with Th Thick and move Aria and Little One into the back with Dozel, Iku, Kyle, and Ty. I don't think all of them will fit, so uh, I believe Kyle and Ty will probably have to move to the front boat. Okay. Well, never mind then. We can keep it as it is, which is Thick, Aria slash Little One, and Santana. Then the back is Devlin, Dozel, Iku. And we can move Dozel and Iku to the front one. Two for two? Mm -hmm. Well, no, though. 
I, I'm just thinking that Aria and Thick in the same boat is does not it would not end well for anyone involved. What are you talking about? You're the only one that's you know defensive or offended by everything. <laughs> you're the one. You're the only one that gets offended when we talk about cooking your chicken. That's exactly why she gets offended. <laughs> All right, uh, Devil and Spooks is gonna be right back. Okay. So Rhea's just kind of looking at that, and she's trying to make decision decide. And she kind of looks at the little one, looks at the boat, looks at Thick, looks back at the boat, like, hmm. It got real quiet. What happened? I'm thinking. Also, I'm petting my cat. He's on my lap. He's being a good uh, baby. Kitties. Yes. Are you sure you're not petting the little one? His name's Oreo. Uh, I'm back. Welcome I'm back. Ice cream. Ice cream is I a good thing. All right, so who no, is who is keeping an eye out as you travel down the river? I will. Um, I... Make your roll. Ah, oh, motherfucker. So on roll 20, I mean, on, on D&D Beyond, when you roll the dice, you know, it acts like as if it's in a dice tray and bounces around, you know? Yeah. I roll. I rolled it right in the corner of my screen, like on the natural twenty, and spun itself a little bit, and, then, <laughs> and rolled on an eight. I'm like, really, motherfucker? <laughs> you know, like, you know how it sometimes it spins itself to what? Wait, Did you kill yourself? I got a nineteen. All right, so. Neither Devlin nor uh, Thick see this, but um, Santana looks out the one side of the boat, kind of around midday, and sees uh, about eight skeletons laying on the banks of the river. He will tap on their shoulders and point over that way. So to th- uh, I haven't changed anyone around. So Santana, so you're currently in with Aria, little one, thick in the front boat. Then we have Devlin, Nozel, Devlin, and all the NPCs in the back boat. Okay, then I tap Thunk on the shoulder. <laughs> thunk, thick, whatever. The, uh, slash creature thing that can change its face. That was a joke. I smack him in the head and <laughs> I smack him in the head and point to the skeletons. How close are they? They are on the banks of the river. They, the, the, you guys are pretty much in the middle of the river at the moment. So are they standing or lying down? They're they're laying on uh, on the banks. Oh yeah, laying on the. So, are they oh, animated skeletons or unanimated skeletons, or we he can't tell from this distance? Well, Satana can't doesn't isn't seeing them move at this point. Just clumps of skeletons oh, I can't laying around. That. Just some dead bodies laying about. <laughs> so, just dead skeletons chilling on a. Beach. Yep. Yep. That. That's the thing. What other kind of skeletons are there? Well, if you were at the last uh, session, you'd know. <laughs> I was at working the last <laughs> session. Thank you very much. And it wasn't by my choice. <laughs> yeah, there, there was an entire uh, sequence where they followed skeletons out to a party. Well, and I am um, well, you know, because you have a live skeleton that's in your body. 
Anyway, let's, let's move on. Alright, so you pass by the skeletons. Wait, wait, can I do a perception check to see if they have anything valuable next to their bodies? Um, yeah, I believe that, uh, that Satana would have pointed them out to you. So just uh, do a secondary perception check. Make a way? Make another perception check. You're kind of scratchy there, Grizz. Yeah, Sorry, my cat's purring at me. Please make another make perception, another perception check. check. Okay. <laughs> my cat is purring loudly into my microphone. Ah, that'd be why. My cat she, left the room. She is a bundle of purr. You see a, a, a rusty sword here, a frayed bow there, but nothing else catches your eye. Continue on. <laughs> we were never stopping. <laughs> I would have swam. Well, walked. But those okay. would have left you behind. I mean, think about what he tried to do with fucking me. When I went to go with Pete <laughs> Camp Vision. Vengeance. Yeah, but see, everyone there was alive. So he do probably you, would have been willing to do last rites. Do you guys want, want to do the fast travel version to the places in the map that you've already been through? At this point? Yeah. yeah. Alright, let me see. I don't think we're going to find anything too extraordinary. I'm going to count out how many days it's going to take. One. Looks like too extraordinary, so. Huh. Okay, so this is going to take three days. Anything interesting happen to you guys in the next three days? Alright. So you take three days uh, heading down this way. One, two, and three. And finally get yeah. to the next part of the river. Wait. <laughs> That's fine. Heading right into the into the uh, into the basin. Uh, the next morning, let's see you go into ah, stupid thing. Two. All right. It's night, and you're just go just sailed through a a, uh, a small lake or maybe a very large pond that's connected through this uh, waterway and into a swamp area. I make sure to I have um, plenty of whatchamacallit on. Yeah, there's an, increased, there's an increased amount of, of bug activity in the area. How much more um, salve slash uh, incense do you have? Me? I've got another 231 uses. All right. Remember for the salve. Right, but I have to use two a day. Yeah. Remember for the salve, you need. Day. Remember the, for the salve, everybody needs uh, needs that or they're in danger. Uh, for the incense, it's it, it one thing of incense is good for the group. Well, I had I had fifteen left when we left the um, who was it? The Hag area. All right. <laughs> but I think that's that's one I got from Arya. So it's been seven days since you left the Hag area, but it's only been two days since you entered a insect dense region. Okay, so fifteen minus seven is eight, so then that's two so far. I'm at six now. Six uses of cells. All right. Um, I, I'm I I offer some salve to Ikuin like and make sure that she has enough, because I'm like. We don't want our guy to get sick. I, I'm fine, thank you. Are you kind of nods? And then she looks over to Kyle and Ty, make sure that they have enough. Ky Kyle ha seems to have a uh, insect repellent thing up going in, in the fire, close to uh, Ty. Okay. I know I gave them salve early, early on in the p adventure. So. Yeah, I spent a lot of money on salve. I left with 40 vials. vials. <laughs> That's good because each of them have have like what was it ten twenty uh, twenty uses 20, yeah. 20, 20 uses ten for me though because I'm so big not really 
That's because that would be the same for the Goliath, after all. Well, that's what you ruled that I would get need two uses per. Yeah, that's true. Cover my, me up. <laughs> well, you also have that's right. You also have the, the, the a bit more. Fur. I got fur. Yeah. But don't worry, I have lesser. I have less. Um, lesser restoration. So if anyone uh, gets yes, sick, that's, that's I true. can heal them. Or if you run into a, a four on very unfortunate goats. I'm so sorry. Now we'll delete the no. Actually, no. What we'll do is we'll heal the goats and then kill them to eat them. That way we're saving the, the goats already. If we're healed. No, Lyra. I'm talking about if we anyway. run into any. Um, my cat is now currently trying to sit on my mouse button while I'm looking something up. Right. Right. Move over. Ah. Move over. Kitty, no. Okay. Now. We're not eating it yet. Give it a little bit. Yes, Alright, so who, who's keeping watch at night? Okay, Devlin I'll... feeling turkey will stay up for first. Yay! I'll All take right. second. I got 20. So, Devlin, uh, you see several um, people in the jungle uh, seeming to look like they're trying to sneak. Uh, you notice the, the, these humanoids definitely alive, and they have these um, blue triangles uh, painted on their foreheads. And they're gazing at, gazing at you and your camp. Uh, I'm going to wake up Iku and tell her of these people. Iku wakes up and looks into looks out in the direction as the, the people, you know, back On away and back away and, and try to um to, to secure themselves to hide themselves again or perhaps just leave the area and she just kind of grits her teeth and sit, turns to you and says <clears throat> and says those are cannibals they will eat zombies and any other humanoids they can get their hands on we should be quite vigilant okay so then Whoever is my next watch, I'll wake them up and tell them about cannibals and describe them. And, um, you know. I'm the next watch, and I already rolled because I didn't know that this while was going on, but I only got 11. So. Like, cannibals? Oh, how awful. Yeah, it sounds like you'll eat zombies, humanoids, anything that catches their fancy. Aria is looking a little green around the gills at the idea <laughs> of eating zombies. <laughs> like, oh. Well, good luck. Devlin goes to bed. <laughs> At one point during your watch uh, area, uh, you do see a, um, a one of these people gazing out at your camp, lock eyes with you for a moment, and vanish back into the woods. Uh, seeing that, I eat and go invisible for like six seconds. <laughs> and um, I basically... Uh, hold my quarter staff tightly in my hand, and I'm kind of just clearly on edge. Who's who's on third watch? I just uh, did run him, run. Oh. I got a eight. All right. Oh, I also I tell Satana about the cannibals. Like, be on your guard. Cannibals are stalking us. <laughs> and I go quickly that hide in my tent. That advantage. You're a monk. Let me think. Uh, you know what? I'll allow that. Make another roll.
And I'm hiding under my blanket now in my tent. <laughs> and that's a 23. Yeah. You watch out in, in, into the darkness and uh, s spot the movement. But they also spot you watching them. And they vanish again. And who's on fourth watch? I take the form of one of them. Yeah, they look. They they do look like other humans, but they have a a uh, blue triangle on their forehead. <laughs> no. Oh, all the nice for us to roll bad. <laughs> it's this night. <laughs> Kyle seems to be up <coughs> and standing by the by by the fire, and he's hol holding the a blade the, the, that blade in his hand, and it's sh shedding light. As he gazes off into the darkness. He stands there calmly, but he looks like he's ready to act if anything came near. And your knight is protected. Yay. No one was dragged off and eaten. Oh, yay. Bird is still ours. <laughs> Uh, the last time somebody got dragged off and eaten was eight days ago. Oh. Oh my. I hate fighting a T-Rex with someone you don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the next day while traveling, Aria is definitely spooked. Like, she's definitely oh. hiding behind... She, like... She's staying closer to Kyle than the rest of them, and at the movement of anything, she looks fully ready to dive behind him. All right. Which is strange, because she's two, foot, two feet taller than him. <laughs> he, he seems safe, yes. Uh, dur during the midday, as you, as you sail down the river, you spot some rather strange-looking uh, reed structures. And by one of them... Is you see one of those bird creatures, those large bird creatures that uh, tried to, well, you know the one, the, the ones that tried to get you to attack each other. Ah, the Eblis. Yep. And they're sta that one happens to be staring out at you. You know, it's slightly different pattern than the one you saw before, but it's definitely one of one of the same creatures. I cover little one's eyes, like just baby. Don't look. And I do not meet its gaze. Alright. I just need general perception check for that night. Alright. I'll... Uh, Idris Elba's bird. Thankfully, even though I people's we're perceptions all... were, were poor, nothing bad happens to you in the night. The next day, continuing down the river. Down by the river. Uh, roll perception. Uh, okay, thanks for keeping an eye on things. Uh, off to one side... Uh, you happen to spot seven cr seven creatures kind of like laying along the bank with large fins on their backs. Uh, one of them actually seems to be ducking into the water and just kind of um, swimming a little bit. I'll, uh... Nothing. I'll keep my bow ready and just let people know that there's um, movement to the bank. I ask, like, are they cannibals? I just look at her. How the hell they, do they, they look? <laughs> they look kind of like repti reptilian creatures or something reptile-like with large sails on their backs. Uh huh. They're fish cannibal. Thirteen nature more, more, check. More like a, a more sturdy crocodile with with a, with a back sail. Uh, nature check. Okay. Uh, you think you recognize this as a Dimetrodon? Yeah, fish cannibal. It 
it's more like something that's often confused with a dinosaur, and in fact listed under dinosaurs in the book. But it's like I look at that and go, "That those are not dinosaurs." <laughs> Sorry, that's me and my my one time at one point when I was a kid, I really wanted to be a paleontologist. <laughs> And, so, and my sister went through the same phrase. Phase. Yeah, and so I get really angry at, 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 at when things are misclassified as dinosaurs when they're not friggin' dinosaurs. Let me tell you, one time uh, they're more closely related to mammals was... than dinosaurs. Sorry, <laughs> there was a, a Cub Scout uh, theme. You know how they have you know dinosaurs. You know, like Stegosaurus, T. Rexes. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Jessica, my sister went in there and looked at it. And was like, this is all wrong. They're all from the different time period. She got really mm -hmm. mad about that. Yeah, Dur like Jurassic Park, for example, which only had like maybe one dinosaur from the Jurassic in it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry, we're off topic. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's a what, <laughs> So that's what you see along along the banks of the river and one of them swimming along inside. Okay, so along, so they are along the riverbank. We have done nothing. We have just watched them. Yep, there's about seven of them all together. Some of them are out there just getting some good sun, and one of them swimming. Oh, uh, I ain't touching them. Nope. Oh. All right, finish off the day. Just need some general uh, nighttime checks. All right, I'll do perception for night. Let's see. Let's hope I get. I see nothing. Hopefully, nothing happens during my time. Twenty three. Yeah. During, during your watch, Santana, you happen to notice some rather large frogs croaking nearby. They seem to be signaling to one another, and you occasionally hear splashes in the water. Uh, just keep an eye out, make sure that that's all they are. Alright. Yeah, none of them seem to come close. Leaving you guys alone for the night, possibly driven away by the f by the fire that Kyle sits in front of. Next day, all is well. Are we still in the swamp area? Uh, you're yeah. Oh, we're just leaving the swamp today. Okay. Yay. checks. And that was like two days in the swamp, three days in the swamp? Yes. Three days. Alright, let me go minus out six six of myself then. Alright. So sometime during the day, uh let's see perception okay, area. Uh you kind of catch some movement off to the side and you see a um what looks to be a triceratops because you've recognized these from uh, from the dinosaur races, and it is surrounded by a cloud of what to you look like huge pink uh, mosquitoes of some kind. They're just kind of bloating on its blood as it kind of like tr is trying to get into the water to uh, to brush them off. Um. I'm thinking, do I want to ca cast a uh, shit? Uh, create water to create a rain around the creature? I'm thinking. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to ca cast create water at the second level to, for, you know, rain around the, the dinosaurs, the triceratops, so we can get the bugs away from it faster. All right. This seems yeah. to. Yeah, right. to, to Potentially drown and or wash away several of the of the bugs, leaving two behind. That that that, that detach themselves from the, the from the, the triceratops and lift into the air, buzzing loudly. Uh, 
How many are still touching the Triceratops? Uh, none at the moment. Uh, they, they've none all gone off the Triceratops. The only two that were left uh, disentangled it and, and are buzzing up, up overhead. Okay. Do they notice it, us? Cause... Uh, roll perception check. <clears throat> Arya, if you got us into another fight, and it wasn't even my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to tell at this See, distance. He, only gets, he gets only happy if he starts to fight. Um, do you want me to uh, roll perception too? See if I see anything? Sure. Aw, Ren's going away for the night. Oh. All right. You, it, it's re still really hard to tell since these things are not that big, and you are it, you are in the middle of the river, and they are off at the bank. Um, I'm gonna light an incense. All right. Even though I have salve, I'm gonna light an incense. That takes us to here, yeah. where you set up camp. And sleep the night. And here's where, unfortunately, we will be stopping because we don't have enough people. <laughs> Hopefully, oh, okay. next week, this will be rectified. But, Hopefully. you guys had had a good time. You've uh, been to, to, to you know deal with one poten one fight amicably. And you've dealt with other f with other potential fights in, in your own way, which is really good. But you're making your way towards Kirisabal. And hopefully oh, hey, that X we were. I'm sorry. What? Go ahead. Oh, that X. I saw that X. You know, we're kind of heading towards the X. I don't know if we're heading towards towards. There's, there's no. Thankfully for you, there's no water going directly to there. Oh, that was the floating city, wasn't it? That was that floating piece of rock that you guys kept kept looking, seeing in the distance. You're seeing it more up close. But yeah, we'll get into. Okay. We'll potentially get into that next week. Okay. I'm hoping there's a game next week because let me tell you, I, I'm not looking forward to Wednesday. I got you. We're not going to have a game. I'll make sure of it. I'm just kidding. Wednesday? <laughs> yep. Wednesday is Veterans Day. We do a special oh, at my right. work where veterans and military eat free. So we're pretty that's, much slammed. I, 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 it's like, for you. All day hard work long. for you, yes. But I said that's a very nice thing for your work to be doing. Hey. Mm -hmm. 